Hi students, we come back to our online class. Let us learn about that uh, rational numbers last part of it. Here we are going to learn that how can we represent the rational numbers on number line. And in your previous classes you have already learned that uh, you have uh, represented the uh, natural numbers on the number line, again whole numbers on the number line. Even integers, you have learned how to uh, how to uh, denote that means how to represent that on the number line. Now, today's class, we will learn about rational numbers. How can we represent on a number line? For example, minus three upon eight. We have taken that minus three upon eight. From this, you can understand that this rational number is a negative integer negative number and uh, always when the negative numbers when we wanted to represent on a number line you should know that a negative numbers always come on the left side of the zero. So now looking at this uh, numerator and a denominator you can see that a denominator is greater than denominator is greater than numerator. So we will divide the number line into 8 equal parts that is how much is the denominator that much equal parts we are going to make it on the number line. So we will write it in this way that is 0 from the 0 to the left side we will write first number will be minus 1 upon 8 minus 2 upon 8 minus 3 upon 8 minus 4 upon 8 minus 5 upon 8 minus 6 upon 8 minus 7 upon 8 and here it will come minus 8 upon 8. This minus 8 upon 8 we can again write it as you know that it can be cancelled and you will get the answer is minus 1 that negative number. So from this we can come to know that our number is coming between 0 and minus 1. So where it is uh, uh, representing, we can plot the minus 3 upon 8, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 upon 8. Here our number, rational number, minus 3 upon 8 can be represented on the number line. Now, in the second case, another example, you can see that 8 upon 3. In 8 upon 3, you can see that here numerator is greater than denominator and because of that itself that a numerator you see that and uh, will divide the what we call it as the number line. Number line will be divided into eight equal parts and uh, all these uh, equal parts will be on which side of the zero it will be? It will be on the right side of the zero. Reason is what? Because 8 upon 3 is a positive rational number. So we start with the 0, then we will write all the numbers what is coming. So first one is 1 upon 3, 2 upon 3, 3 upon 3. Now see that a 3 upon 3 can be cancelled and it is a whole number becomes it is 1. Then 4 upon 3, 5 upon 3, 6 upon 3, 7 upon 3, 8 upon 3. Again, 6 upon 3 when it came, came, you can see that it is also can be divided equally. A whole number will get that is 2. Then we will see 9 upon 3. Again, 9 upon 3 also when divided, you will get a whole number that is 3. Now look at this, our number is 8 upon 3, also coming between 2 and 3. So we can denote that, represent the number 8 upon 3 is here. That means it came between 2 and 3. Now one more method is there, whether the number is coming between 2 and 3, it can become. For that, this fraction we can divide, that a fraction can be divided. In this way, 8 divided with 3. You know that 2 3s are 6. 
and you will see that 8 minus 6, 2. And you can get a mixed number that can be written by using this uh, formula like you can keep in the mind Q R D. Q R D. Q R D means Q is quotient. That is first we will write 2. Then remainder R. That is 2. Again divisor 3. That is 3 here. So we get a 2 integer 2 upon 3. Now from this we can understand that a 2 integer 2 upon 3 will be between 2 and 3. So that in this method also you can first find out which number is between 2 and 3. Here also you can see that 2 and 3. So thus we can represent the rational numbers on the number line. Last part of our rational numbers lesson, we have to learn about rational numbers between two rational numbers. For that in previous classes you have learned that the numbers between 1 to 4, you can easily say that between 1 to 4 it comes 2 and 3. And what is about the 0 to 4? That is also easily you can say that 1, 2, 3. Then minus 2 to 3, that also you can say very easily that minus 2 after it comes minus 1. Then 0, 1, 2. And you will see that 3 upon 9 and 2, 6 upon 9. That is also easy to say that in between 3 and 6, which are the numbers? That is 4 upon 9 and 5 upon 9. Now, let us see, can you say very easily that what are, which are the important rational numbers between 4 upon 5 and 3 upon 5, 4. For this, you may be getting doubt how it can be. It is little confused because here you saw that there is the rational numbers which is having common denominator that is 9. But here denominators have changed. So, let us first make the denominator same. And we can find out the rational numbers between 4 upon 5 and 3 upon 4. To make the denominator same in your smaller classes, you have learned how to find out the LCM of the numbers. So, find the LCM of numbers 5 and 4. There is no common, uh, common factors are not there. In such cases, you can just multiply the denominators. So, LCM is becoming 5 fours are 20. So, in this way, first 4 upon 5 can be written that the denominator has to be become 20. For that, you know that to make 20, 5 is multiplied with the 4. Same number multiply with the numerator also. So, we get a 4 fours are 16. So, 16 upon 20. In the same way, second number 3 upon 4. And denominator should be the same. So, 20. Then 4 can be multiplied with the 5. So 20 will get same number multiplied with the uh, numerator that is 50. Now look at these numbers. When we find this here, you will not get any numbers. So see that 15 upon 20 and 16 upon 20. There are no numbers between this. But uh, we can make it by multiplying the greater numbers. 4 that is 20 can be multiplied with the 5. Now you know that when we multiply with the same numbers with the denominator and the numerator, it is known as the equivalent fractions. So it can be make it as an equivalent fraction. So we get here 16 are 80 and uh, 20 fives are 100. Same way here also 20 can be multiplied with the 5 and here also 5. So, we get uh, that is 15 fives are 75 and 20 fives are 100. Now, see the between numbers in between 75 upon 100 and 80 upon 100. You can get uh, many numbers. You see that uh, 75 after you will get 76 upon 100. 77 upon 100, 78 upon 100, 79 upon 100. So, how many numbers we got? 
1, 2, 3, 4. Four rational numbers, we got it in between 75 upon 100 and 80 upon 100 means what? It is the numbers between 4 upon 5 and 3 upon 4. In case if you want to make more numbers, you will multiply both the denominator and numerator with the same number, greater numbers. Instead of 5, you use it 7 or 8. You will get a number will be increased. In the same way, we can see that you find the rational numbers between minus 2 upon 5 and 1 upon 2. Here also you will find out the LCM of this. Again, you can see that your common factors are not there. LCM can be find out just to multiply it. So, LCM will be 2, 5s are 10. So, make the numbers minus 2 upon 5. Multiply, uh, it has to be denominator same. That is 5, 2s are 10. To make it a denominator same, you can see that you are multiplied with the 2 and the same with the numerator also. So, you will get a minus 4. Then we see that a 1 upon 2. Also, same denominator has to be made. So, to get a 10, you have to multiply with the 5. Same with the numerator. So, 5 upon 10. Here you see that 4 upon 10 and 5 upon 10. But here you see that it is a negative. So, that uh, we get uh, so many numbers between that. So, minus 4 upon 10 and 5 upon 10, which are the numbers. Now, minus 4 after it comes, that is minus 3 upon 10, then minus 2 upon 10, then minus 1 upon 10, then 0 is also there in between. Then again it will go to 1 upon 10, 2 upon 10, 3 upon 10 and 4 upon 10. So, total number how many we get it here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now, question is that uh, find uh, 10 rational numbers. So, that uh, we will multiply the number again with greater number. You will get uh, 10 rational numbers. Now, you saw that here uh, we are getting only 8 numbers. Question is that 10 rational numbers. So, we have to multiply with a greater number with the number which is in the original numbers. That means minus 4 upon 10 and we got it the same denominator with the other number is 5 upon 10. Then here you can multiply with the any numbers which is both the numbers to be multiplied numerator and denominator. So, we will get a minus 20 upon 50. Then here also multiply with the 5. And here are 25 upon 20, 50. Now, see the numbers between these. So, all the numbers between minus 20 upon 50 and 25 upon 50. There you can start, you all know that a minus 20 before number it comes to minus 19 upon 50. Then minus 18 upon 50, minus 17 upon 50, then minus 16 upon 50, minus 15 upon 50 and in between there will be so many numbers and we will add some of the what we call it as uh, that is a uh, uh, positive integers also. So, it can be started with the uh, uh, 21, 20, 20 upon 50, 21 upon 50, 22 upon 50, 23 upon 50 and 24 upon 50. So, we get to that uh, 10 rational numbers what is asked in the question. So, in this way 10 or 20, you can get it uh, as many as because within two rational numbers there are indefinite number of rational numbers. Now, uh, that exercise uh, 2.1 is already uh, solved and uh, kept in the website, you have to solve it again in your class workbook. Okay, thank you.